I don't know if you've heard, but LinkedIn is full of potential clients waiting for you. Or maybe you have tried LinkedIn and it just hasn't worked for you. Unlike other social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook, LinkedIn was designed specifically for networking for professionals, business owners, service providers, and more. A lot of people I speak to think that LinkedIn is only for people who are looking to get a real job or have a career path as an employee with a company. However, that is not the case at all. If you're not on LinkedIn, then you're missing out. Not convinced? Let me share some stats with you. More than 740 million people are on LinkedIn. That's a whole lot of people and a whole lot of opportunities for business. LinkedIn is 227% more effective than Facebook and Twitter for lead generation. That is huge. But think about it. Facebook and Twitter are largely social platforms for socially engaging with friends and family. Whereas LinkedIn was established with a clear goal in mind, connecting people and businesses. Three people are hired every minute on LinkedIn. Need I say more? 41% of millionaires are on LinkedIn. So if you're worried about finding clients who don't have a budget, look no further. Okay, I hear you. Yes, Julia, LinkedIn is a place to be. Great. So let's get you set up to find clients on LinkedIn. Step one, optimize your LinkedIn business page. Before you even get started looking for clients, you wanna make sure you have a professional image. Think of this, you reach out to someone to make a connection, they go over to your LinkedIn to check it out and there's nothing there. That's not very convincing, is it? So here are a few things you can do immediately. One, make sure your profile picture is professional and high quality. Yes to clear portrait of your face, no to blurry images. Add a cover image that clearly shows who you are and what you do. This is a great way to give a positive first impression. Next, maximize your headline by specifying what you do. Instead of just saying WordPress expert, you could say WordPress expert who solves all your tech problems. And lastly, make sure you have completed all the profile details. Previous experience, skills, anything else you can add that will optimize your profile. After you optimize your business page, it's time to move on to finding clients. Step two, finding clients. Now, before you go out into the LinkedIn world, get clear on your messaging. What value can you give people? What services are you offering? Remember, you're here to network, so be sure of what it is that you are offering. Start to think about who your ideal clients are. What type of content will they be looking for? What will they be wanting to share and to read? Be sure to take some time to strategize how you approach the platform. And once you've done all that, it's time to get out there. First up, start publishing content. Use the blog feature to write articles that are relevant to your industry. Utilize hashtags so you're easy to find. You could even tag individuals and start engagement among your peers. And secondly, start to network. Join and engage in LinkedIn groups. Think about where your ideal clients are hanging out join those groups, and then start having meaningful conversations with them. Try to avoid self-promotion and instead focus on building real relationships with your ideal client, add value, help them out. Not only that, but you should like other posts and comment and really be sincere and show that you're interested in what they're doing. Once you start putting yourself out there more, posting, engaging, joining groups, networking, you will start to come up as a suggested connection. Now remember, people are on LinkedIn to network and the best relationships are built on providing value, not selling yourself. Here are some tips and what I do when I create a new connection with someone on LinkedIn. Start by typing in the occupation of your ideal client. For example, florist. Then you can filter the search results down to people and you could even filter it even further to location. Then you can go through the results and send a connection request to anyone with a profile picture. Try to make as many connections as you can, but only with your ideal market. It is so much better to have 10 clients who are your ideal prospective client rather than a hundred connections who will never be your client. Once you've made that connection, you need to know how to approach clients. Once you're connected, you could send a simple message introducing yourself. Here's an example. Hi, I'm Julia. Thanks for connecting. I'd love to hear more about what you do and what is something interesting that you're working on right now. Just start chatting back and forth and that's it. Build the relationship and know that it won't always result in a client, but it's still very worthwhile to build that connection 
build that relationship because you never know when someone might need your help and services in the future, or they might know someone who would need your help. All right. Now I want you to go out there and start using LinkedIn. Optimize your bio first, and then use all the tips that I covered here. And when you get your first lead and you're ready to jump on a discovery call, be sure to check out my video, Tips on Discovery Calls, so you can nail that client call. Plus, there is a bonus freebie for you to download. Thanks so much for watching.